Well, we are taking off and headed to the Indiana State Fair for the weekend, uh, leaving a child and a wife and the dogs behind uh, and uh, bringing Ava. So we're gonna head down, it's Friday at two. I uh, wanted to be there yesterday, but we'll take it. Um, oldest daughter's got COVID and so we kind of waited. We still don't have any symptoms, no fever. Took a COVID test yesterday and today. Don't have anything, so we're heading down. I uh, think she got it from the camp that she's in, which would make sense why she's got it. Nobody else does, but uh, heading down a little later. Um, there's campgrounds at the fairgrounds, which I didn't know existed. And uh, supposedly they're gonna up us from a 30 to a 50 amp, but if they don't, We'll see how the 30 works. Also, my uh, house batteries, um, I got a bank of them that aren't any good, and so I'm kind of limping along through this weekend. I'll put stuff in bypass so I don't need it. Um, we'll see how long we can run the uh, uh, lights and stuff off what we still have. But i uh, going to change it out, uh, put some lithium in there. Still trying to figure out alternator to charge the batteries. Um, most times the lithium will hurt the alternator, but in this case, I think my alternator outperforms the lithium. So I'm trying to figure out how to make that work. I've got a good idea in mind, but I'm not sure the DC to DC buck charger I'm looking at uh, needs, this will be interesting, I think I'll wait. Uh, it doesn't have any way to excite the alternator, so I'm trying to figure that out. I'm going to uh, figure this out and then we'll get back with you. We are in. Shoehorned it in again, didn't we, Ava? When I was pulling in, of course, there was a van over that way, so I had to s squeeze in, and then there's an I beam here and an I beam on the other side, and I think these spots are 40 foot long, so I took the whole thing, but um, it's a level spot. We got 50 amp full hookups. It's like $30 a night at the fairgrounds. So you don't come here to camp, you come here to go to the fair. So you ready to go to the fair, Ava? Yeah. All righty. We'll check in with you there next. Got a couple friends here too. We'll see if they're here, but um, they're probably at the fair as well. So we got back, we had a real good time out at the fair. Uh, probably showed some horses there in the clip. Got the bus hooked up, uh, watching some TV. Gonna grill some hamburgers and uh, chill out. Having fun, Ava? All right, watching a little bit of the uh, YouTube. So, having a good time? Well, it is Saturday morning, we slept in a little bit well i think we went to bed around 10 it doesn't matter i guess right and woke up at six watched the sun come up went back to bed at seven o'clock i'm doing my eggs on the griddle uh we just had some coffee uh, tv's on we're gonna have some milk and uh maybe some sugar we'll see my toasted batteries are 
um, 12.3. So I did disconnect those from the alternator and uh, I've got just a little bit of power like trying to maintain those guys because I do need them to run the water pumps. Um, they also, I think, run the uh, aqua hot heat, which I don't need right now because um, I'm using the AC element. And then I'm, it also runs the house lights. So I really just need the 12 volt. So I'm kind of just, uh, and then I also, because I've got redundant systems, I switched the toilet and the generator um, thing that I've got down here back to the front. So I just left it on. So it's kind of nice to have a redundant stuff. And then I've pulled the inverters totally out of the system. So I'm just running um, from the park straight into the bus with no inverters, no control, no nothing. So it's kind of nice to, to have all the options. Like I said, I don't know if I want to sell this thing because it's kind of, kind of works real nice. The other thing I noticed too, this park, um, they're, uh, voltage is like 125. So I don't know if that's a new thing, but my inverters wouldn't turn on anyway. But I don't know. Got daughter, she's um, getting ready. We're going to go watch some horses. So we'll catch you then. We are riding the, what is this thing called? Some sky lift. Sky lift rip off but it's fun we can uh take the tram down there for free or we can ride this for 15 dollars so why not we'll uh we've been in the coliseum there watching the horses i think we're going to try to go in the barns and uh see some of the different animals here oh, fun so far terrifying are you scared yeah. yeah it's a little sketchy but it's the he fair. Told me it wasn't. <laughs> we are getting ready for our departure of the sky wagon or whatever this is. I think we've we've said there's what there's got to be a dozen funnel cake uh, elephant ear places around here, and uh, we're gonna try all of them. That was the first thing we got. Sure. That was the first thing we got when we got in here yesterday. We came right in and got an elephant ear. Boy, it was good, and then our stomachs hurt afterwards, didn't it? Yeah. It was pretty good, though. So I think we're going to do probably some beef um, for lunch, and then we'll cook some steaks on the grill back at camp. So we got all day to explore. After taking that ride, we had to do a funnel cake. Is it good? Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty good. We're, we're going to eat it here at a... What is it? A, 11 o'clock see if we can walk some of it off and then we'll have some pulled pork we're gonna, we're gonna be 100 pounds heavier but pretty good so here's all their cattle so we came back we forgot our spare hamburgers we left them on the grill so we decided to do peanut butter and jellies. <clears throat> so taking a break from the sun and all the fair and all that stuff, got the TV on and uh, just had peanut butter and jellies. My hobbled batteries are at 12.4% or 12.4 volts at 91%. So I've only got eight amps going into it. So I think that'll be good until tomorrow and then we can uh, kind of take life support off of them, let them die, and then work on replacing it. But uh, how's it so far, Ava? Good. She tired. We want to wake up early in the morning, go help clean some cows. I'll put some pictures up here of uh, some friends, family of ours that, that take care of cows. So try that in the morning.
Well, we got our third. We ended up getting our third funnel cake with cherry on it. And then we'll go back and have dinner, right? <laughs> it's an appetizer. <laughs> well, we're back for dinner. Gonna have some steaks, put some stuff on there. Good old pellet grill is working good. We'll let it warm up and uh, gonna drink my fake beer and watch some TV. Well, it's dinner time on what, Saturday? We've got two steaks and they look pretty good. Got my fake beer and a nice tea. Got a vitamin water. We're gonna eat this and then probably take a little break and then go back to the fair. They got a six o'clock show for like the rest of the evening and then we'll uh, probably take it easy after that. Look so happy. You wanted to do this all day. Mom's made me scared of heights. I used to love this. There's downtown. Oh, Dad. Oh, Dad. 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 Look where I'm seeing. Oh, man. Uh, we okay. are up top. We are up top. All the way at the top. Uh, I'm my... All right. Now we're at the top. Ah! <laughs> look, you can see. Look at Indianapolis down there. You can see it. Yeah, that's that There's the state fair coliseum. There we go. Oh. That was short, honestly, for the ride. Yeah, but we go around a couple more times. Well, I forgot to do a video cooking eggs again. Ava's eating some eggs. How are they? Really good. It's uh, 10 o'clock. So we wanted to leave at seven, but it was raining. It's dry out now. Um, I think we're gonna go in for just a little bit and then come out. I've ended up reading a whole bunch on the batteries. Um, right now I'm at 94%, 12.4. So um, doing pretty good, but I read a whole bunch on this weight speed WS or WC or WS 500. Um, I still don't know how to have it turn off the alternator before a BMS shuts its battery down. So I'll probably call them, see if they have any solutions. I don't know if there is because um, the BMS would have to communicate with the wake speed and I don't know if they can. So I'll uh, bring it up a little bit later. All right, so this is our walk into the, I don't know fair i guess <laughs> on the northwest corner of the fair uh the campgrounds are back that way they have a shuttle but it's like what three quarters of a mile at most um so that's it's five minute walk it's not that bad <laughs> no it's pretty good for us especially since we had an elephant ear <laughs> on friday and then we had a funnel cake saturday and then we had a funnel cake with cherries on it for an appetizer to our steaks but um besides that you know we haven't been eating bad but we we averaged what did we do a little over nine miles yesterday so i don't feel bad about two funnel cakes and uh i don't know so we're walking in you can see it's wet it, we were going to get in early this morning and it was raining so i just let eva sleep in she's kind of bummed because we didn't get in there but it is what it is she got a good night's sleep and we wouldn't have even if we were up and showered we wouldn't have walked yeah in the rain yeah three quarters of a mile in the rain so we're going in now um we got a plan we're gonna walk to the uh walk all the way through we're gonna go to the cow barn and then we're gonna go to the arena see if anything's still going on there and then we've got ride tickets um for the uh sky ride they told us the sky ride tickets would work for the round thing whatever that is yeah i hate to call it a ferris wheel because it's huge but they didn't work so now i've got we have one ride left for that so we're going to walk all the way down there ride it back and then 
Emma, who couldn't come, we're gonna get her a funnel cake elephant or elephant ear. ear. And uh, hope it's still good by the time we're, we get home. We got everything ready to go back to camp. So we'll see. And then um, I'll probably do a video on the batteries, what I've got planned and what I've got yet to learn. And uh, we'll go from there. Well, this is our last ride, our last thing of the day. Saw some horses and uh, taking the sky ride. And there is the Ferris wheel or whatever you want to call it. That was pretty insane. But uh, it's coming to an end. You having fun? So we'll pick it up at the camper. Well, I miss getting us. Uh, put together. I was kind of racing around, got everything undone, dumped the tanks, did all the normal stuff and had to pull out, uh, thread the needle to get out of there. And uh, I'm on 38th Street now, heading to 65. So it's kind of the end of the trip. I'll probably just end it here. Uh, like I said, I'll probably put together another video once I get home of my batteries and my thoughts what I'm gonna do. I ended up emailing uh, the company that has uh, wake speed, has that voltage regulator, and uh, asked them some questions. So if I can get some questions answered that I have with a answer that I'm confident with, probably pull the trigger and put that in. Um, otherwise, I don't, I don't know what to do, I guess, because Right now we have an alternator, which is smart, or a controller, you could say the alternator, which will, I can program it to do anything, but if the battery decides for some reason or another, or if it just shuts off, if it shuts off and the alternator is still poking juice to it, it can damage the alternator. So I need to get a way to have the alternator turn off before the battery decides to. And I think, the only way to do that is maybe to have a ba battery that doesn't have a BMS, which um, but used to be the case, but now all of them have a BMS in it, which is good, until you try to go throw an uh, alternator on it. Um, and there's no like leads or outs or anything like that. They're all built in within the, the battery. So it's not like I can have the BMS tell the system, but it is on a CAN bus, so it might be able what I'm hoping is, is that the battery can talk to my servo and my servo can talk to the uh, wake speed alternator thing and maybe they can communicate that way. If not, there's no way to really do it. Um, you could put parameters in so that it would shut it down before the battery would, but there's no guarantee uh, in that. So. I don't know. We'll uh, find out. But like I said, I'll put a video together on that and uh, we'll go from there. Thanks for watching.